What is up guys, this is Karan here, back with another video. Welcome back to Tech Karan YouTube channel. Google Pixel 4 XL ported ROM is available for Redmi Note 8. This is not Pixel Experience, this is actually Google Pixel 4 XL's ported custom ROM available for Redmi Note 8, which has some great features. It's just based on fully stock Google Pixel 4, so no customizations at all. And which are the things you get here? You get all the Pixel goodies like Pixel Contacts, Pixel Documents, Pixel Do. A lot of Pixel apps are available. And this video I'm gonna share with you a bug also which I got to know after using this build from some time. And which are the things you get here, what is the Geekbench score and you get the latest Google camera ported also and a lot more things. Make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started right now. Okay, let's start with the details right now. We get this port which is based on Android version 10 with the latest security patch of 5th of July 2020 and Google Play system update of 1st of February 2020. We get the Inception v6.1 Fluid kernel pre-installed as a default kernel which just helps in boosting your device speed this is very very smooth i'm using from some time didn't got any lags yet but the thing is i got a bug while using wallpapers i was also like that oh, how this could be happened here you have this pixel launcher pre-installed when you go to home settings you get some pixel options like add icon to home screen and all the same things which you get in all the pixel launcher available in all other rooms also but when you go to styles and wallpaper as this is just ported from pixel 4 excel device it has pixel live wallpapers options are available too so we have some little bit of things let me just show you if you set a wallpaper of this live wallpaper click on home screen and lock screen if you are noticing like this this is how your device will perform after applying the live wallpaper from google pixel which was just pre perfectly fine in all other previous rooms but i don't know what happened to this port but you cannot use live wallpapers i tried all the live wallpapers and i didn't got it worked it's just working very very bad it's fully laggy so you can avoid to use these kind of things like that okay so let's move on to some other things let me tell you that it's just based on pixels we have all the pixel apps which includes google duo pre-installed we have google files we have google one we have google keep google news pixel tips podcast recorder safety and a lot more things including youtube music these apps are already pre-installed whenever you open whenever you install this build you will get these kind of apps available here so let's move on to some other things let me just tell you first of all if your device is certified or not and unfortunately my device is not certified let me just tell you you can see my device is not certified i am using magis 20.4 here and safety net status is also not passed this is kind of a disappointed thing you can use magis 20.3 for this and if that works for you then it's perfectly good and if unfortunately that does not work for you then unfortunately you cannot use banking apps on your device you can hide the magis if you want to but some apps still detect root so maybe then you cannot use banking apps but if you still want to use that just try it at least once Moving on some other things, let me just tell you the Geekbench score. The Geekbench score is quite impressive. I got 314 is a single core score and 1343 is the multi core score, which is quite impressive. You can see single core is 314 and multi core is 1343. Average of Redmi Note 8 just got 1300 is the multi core score, but we got 1343. It will just compare it like Google Pixel 4 XL. As you can see, our model is showing like Xiaomi Pixel 4 XL, not Google Pixel 4 XL. It's just ported from Google Pixel 4 XL. All the features are available here. You got this Google Assistant right now from this angle. And Google Assistant looks pretty much cool. As you can see, this looks very, very interesting. 
Moving on to camera right now, we have this Gcam 7.3 or 7.4, I don't know, but it's just ported from Google Pixel 4, which has great features, which includes Google Lens suggestions, also include OIS, which is quite interesting. We have PX mode settings where you can see the about info. This one is PX mode V4.1. Thanks to all those who just work to use this camera on this build. We have auxiliary cameras here, show buttons, telephoto, wide, I can use them, but we will get camera force close. So just don't use these kind of things. Default launch mode, you can choose the default launch mode also to camera portrait or night side. Use Google Photos viewer, non ZSL frame count, a lot more things are available. This camera is most customizable Gcam ever and this camera is also ported. This is pre-installed here. All these things are just fine, perfectly fine here. You can see these kind of things, face retouching, HDR plus and a lot more things. You can choose the portrait one also, camera one, night side. All these things are just perfectly fine, including the HDR plus. All these things are fine as you can see burst and everything is fine and details are pretty clear till now. All these things I have already shown you so let's move on to settings and check out if you get any single feature or not. Okay so we are here at the settings right now we have some suggestions like identify music around you and add emergency information. These are the suggestions you always get in pixel using rooms. Network and internet connected devices have same things which you get here and in apps and notifications. You get this assistant option available and assistant looks pretty much impressive. You can say hey google, continue conversation options are available too and some other things included like this. We have screen time option available which you can check it out and which is helpful for you to measure how's your time going on on your device. Battery percentage option is normally available here which was expected too. In display we don't get any option here, you got the styles and wallpapers which includes all these four styles. No clock customization options and wallpapers I have already shown you which has weird kinda of bug and display size you can customize and all other things are just fine. Sound, storage, privacy, location, no worries, nothing else, everything is just fine. In security we have this pixel imprint which is a fingerprint which is also fine but we didn't got any face lock available. So don't worry you cannot use that so that does not matter. Digital well-being and parental controls, all these features are also fine. System includes this motion sense feature which might not work in India and some other countries too. So this is also ported room, so just don't expect these kind of things in a ported room. Pixel 4 XL, our device is showing like all the things I have already shown you. These were kind of things I just want to share with you. This is a Pixel 4 XL ported room available for Redmi Note 8. This was all for today's video. Just installation is very simple. Go for it, install it right now. No extra steps needed. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Have a nice day.